day for it. Isn't it just? Why will let you talk me into this? Low wedding. Low rules. Right, hang on, hang on. I'm done. All right. Shouldn't you be saving your energy for tonight? Oh, don't worry. There's plenty left in the tank. Uh, I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Good morning. Nothing good about it, Kirk. All set for later. Defo? No cramps or vomiting? No. It's a book game round. Max has not been very well, and Sally and Tim are cancelled. Oh, downer. So I'm going to need you guys on top form later. Mate, we're going to smash it. <laughs> Running off a few nerves, are we? Nerves? What nerves? This is really happening. Like it was ever in doubt. Uh, right, before you throw a wobbly, I want you to know this wasn't my idea. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. How amazing do I look? Oh, Amy, you look like a young Taylor Swift. Don't I? What do you reckon, Mum? One word. Traitor. Deal with it. And that colour is not a good look. Well, Twisted and Bitter isn't a good look either. Talk about a sour ape. I think you mean sour grapes. No, I think Amy's is better. OK, ladies, that's enough. Amy, you can stop winding your mum up and go on. Now, please. Whatever. I'm still a massive fan. <laughs> I'll uh, leave you guys to it. It's just one day. I know. So I've got nothing to worry about? No. Positive about that. Look, I haven't given her a second thought. Good. Because we are so close to the finish line. Robert, I really could do without another lecture. I know there's a box in here somewhere. It's all right, Rita. There's no rush. Are you going round to Beth and Kirk's with everyone? For what? Well, they're all getting ready over there before the wedding. You'd have to be Sherlock Holmes to find anything in this place. Uh, no, not your cup of tea. Well, actually, I haven't been invited. I'm sure they won't mind, huh? No, to the wedding, I, I, I haven't been invited to the wedding. Oh, 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 I mean, it's fine. You know, I haven't been at the factory very long, so... Well, yeah, I suppose, yeah. And it does help when you're going out with one of the bosses. <laughs> Found it! Ah. The last one. Great, what do I owe you? Uh, one pound fifty, love, please. Yeah, it's on me. Oh, no, don't be daft. No, 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 I insist. It's my contribution to the nuptials. Oh, well, thank you. That's really kind of you. Hey, I'll try and smuggle you a piece of wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye, love. Bye. Aren't you been to one wedding? You've been to them all. What do you mean you can't serve me? I'm afraid it's just not possible. Well, I only want a cappuccino. The cafe's closed. Oh, really? So what are the Dungaree Divas doing here, then? We were invited. It's a wedding brunch for Carla. <clears throat> Don't you mean a shower? Roy, please let me throw her out. That won't be necessary. Oh, it'll only take a minute. Like, get rid of her. It's the principle. If I serve her, I have to serve everyone. Hi. Hey. Hey. What's she doing there? I, I was just explaining to Tracy... You don't have to explain anything, Roy. This is a private function. Please leave. Oh, bless him. Takes his daddy role really seriously. Right, well, I know when I'm not wanted. She don't miss much. <laughs> Good luck today, Carla. Luck doesn't come into it. Do you know, these flowers are an embarrassment. I could have done a much better job. So, I thought we could start with face masks. Homemade? Yeah. It's my own special concoction. Kirky thought it was a tortilla dip. <laughs> <laughs> right. What do you reckon to this dress? Um, yeah, it looks fab. Um, the waist and the top bit might need taking in slightly. But... Just a smidge. Mm, that'll teach you for having such a trim figure. Mm. 
As long as it doesn't look frumpy. Oh, please. That frock is a classic. Here, get this down, yeah? Oh, I shouldn't, really. All the more reason to do it. Oh, go on, then. Oh, well, it wasn't so much a hygiene inspection, but a full-on raid. Yeah, yeah. Well, these things are sent to try us. I have to go all the way to the precinct. Anyway, the um, upshot is we've uh, pushed back the reception and the new venue is in crew. Yeah, I'm uh, whizzing the address over to you now. Well, it's a bit out in the sticks, so your driver should probably set off shortish. Oh, no, absolutely. We're more than happy to accept the increased delivery charge. Oh, you are a star. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, bye-bye. Um, Tracy, what was all that about? Uh, nothing to worry your pretty little head about. Well, 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 I shall attempt to contain myself. Uh, no, I, I just wanted to say, in, in case we don't have the opportunity after the wedding, that uh, Hayley would have enjoyed seeing you so content. Roy, any more Prosecco go in? You must be missing her today. I miss her every day. Actually, Cathy, uh, I'm glad I've got you on your own. Oh, yeah. Hey, you finally made it, then? Yeah, sorry, I got held up. Uh, can I have a word? You look stressed. Who's cried off now? Well, there's been an issue with the flowers. What sort of issue? They're on the way to crew. I kind of need a favour. Actually, it's more than a favourite. It's more of a, a pledge stroke, blood pact. OK. I promised Hayley that I'd always keep an eye on our Royston and... Yeah, um, yeah, I have noticed a certain protectiveness. Soon I won't be here. But I will be. I won't let you down. The thought never, ever entered my head. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. This bonkers. Yeah, it gets worse. Apparently the driver's stuck in a four-mile traffic jam. I'm sorry, I'm confused. How is this even possible? Well, according to the florist, my beautifully well-spoken PA named Hermione phoned them with a change of venue an hour ago. Which is really weird, because I don't have a beautifully well-spoken PA named Hermione. Are you guys going to join this party or what? Wait a sec. What's the big secret? Uh, Michelle's just having some input into my speech. Uh, why didn't you ask me? Because he wants folks to stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Carla. Is this something you're not telling me? I think I know who's responsible. No, she wouldn't. I'll sort it. I'll kill her. I will sort it. You might want to make yourself scarce. No, you're all right. You're unbelievable. Oh, I like to think so. I won't let you ruin this wedding. I think you're confusing me with somebody that gives them monkeys. Drop the act. I know it was you who sent those flowers into the middle of God knows where, and so does Michelle. Oh, now I get it. Well, if that's true, why isn't she round here now trying to rip my face off? Because I convinced her that today is about Carla, not you. Yeah, well, it doesn't change the fact that you are short. Three corsages, two buttonholes and ten bouquets. Oh, I do believe I've implicated myself. Me and my big mouth. You need professional help. Yeah, and you need a whole lot of flowers in a matter of hours. Of course. Rush order like that won't come cheap. You're not serious. Well, obviously, I wouldn't be your first choice. But it seems to me that you are up a certain creek without a paddle. And, um, busy Tracy is much more preferable to bored Tracy. You know, idle hands and all that. 
How's Max doing? Still not great, you know. I think at this rate, Carl, he's not even going to make the wedding. Can't be helped. Life, I suppose. Right. Let's get practicing. From the top. From the top. Okie dokie. Hang the cravat around your neck with one end slightly longer than the other. Now, take your time and wrap the long end across the front of the shorter end. Mm. Continue wrapping the long end around until you have one complete loop around the top of the short end. Keep going. Keep... Oh. Finally found one. Half price it were. Carl and Nick are going to love it. Oh, you got them a foot spa. A classy couple deserve a classy prezi. How about you? Ooh, a digital picture frame. That must have cost a few, Bob. Oh, it's only money. Mm. I made them signature his and her soaps, smouldering ice for Nick, and purple fantasy for Carl. Oh, <laughs> wow, you really go the extra mile. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's in that bag there. Tell me you didn't pay money for that. I found it in the charity shop. I thought, you know, since they're moving to the country, getting something rustic like. Ooh, it's certainly different. I'm not being funny, but it looks like he's chewing a wasp. Well, I think it's characterful. You mean pug ugly? No matter where you move, it's like he's watching us. I'm coming to get you, Kaki! I don't know how to Give us a kiss! Oh, get off ah! your home! <laughs> what? Look, you know, don't go overboard. Spread them out a bit. Tracy, you have no shame. I thought you'd be pleased with my ingenuity. Ing You've just robbed him blind. No. I saw an opportunity and I grabbed it. I still think you're playing with fire here. A little bit scared of Johnny, are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, as if. Anyway, make yourself useful and take that lot over to number eight. Not to be read until after the ceremony. Tracy, what is all this about? It's just a little inside joke, that's all. I think you need to learn when to quit. Yeah, and I think you need to grow a pair. Right, fine, fine. But don't come to me if this blows up in your face. You mess with a bloke like Johnny, eventually, he's gonna push back. Hiya. 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 Just to let you know, would he pass the MOT? All running satisfactorily. Burning like a game. What have you done to your eye? Oh, I've got some dust in it, changed my exhaust, it'll be hey. fine. Hey, what's uh, all this then? Kathy's done a painting as a wedding gift. You're kidding. Oh, we've just bought them some moody looking Toby jug. Oh, well, come on then, let's have a look, sir. Well, it's not like it's a masterpiece or anything. Is that what I think it's supposed to be? It's a stylized representation. I mean, they're half naked. Well, they are supposed to be Adam and Eve. Well, the, the biblical connotations aside, isn't it superb? Yes, it's a wonderful brushwork. You have a true talent there, Cathy. Thanks, Roy. It's merely my honest opinion. I must say, those are some very strategically placed fig leaves. <laughs> are you not kidding? Well, I based it on the Titian. Oh, yeah, yeah, dead likeness. Roy, have you got a minute? I'll show you around, Cathy. Oh, certainly. Uh -huh. it won't be long. Listen, Kathy, I can wrap that for you if you want to go and get ready. No, 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 you're all right. There's bags of time yet. <laughs> Not that I need much time, if I'm honest. I've never been one for all that primping and fussing. <laughs> Even on my own wedding day, I was ship shape in 30 minutes. Oh, was it a big day? Yeah, perfect day to go with a perfect marriage. Shame you had to spoil it all by sleeping with my sister. I must have kind of put you off the old shebang. Not necessarily. Are you sure you won't be more comfy in the office? You're certifiable if you think I'm going to let you out of my sight. Oh, have it your own way. Do you know, anybody would think he didn't trust me. How can you work for her? I'm a glutton for punishment. No, I'm serious. An intelligent lad like you can do better than this. But I am here, you know. We've got an arrangement. What's that? In return for long hours and a laughable salary. I don't make his life a misery. It's a win-win. Spoken like a true mug. Hey, I'm not the one she's running rings around, mate. Yeah, OK, boys, play nice. Right. <sighs> Sir, would you like a message with these flowers? I could think of a few choice words. No extra cost. No messages. What? At all? At all. Hmm. Really wish I hadn't written that card to Nick now. 
Oh, God. What did you write? Wouldn't you like to know? I know. That's terrible. This is impossible. Just I knew we should have picked it. Oh. Just give me Yeah, all right, cowboy, hold your horses. Hey. All right. Uh, can I come in? You already are. <laughs> you lads okay then? Yeah. So, uh, no problems? Apart from the fact uh, my future wife's arch enemy seems to be doing the wedding flowers. Yeah, I should have given you the heads up on that. Yeah, it would have been nice. There's a last minute glitch with the other florist and she. Uh, Kindly agreed to step in. <laughs> Carla's cool with that. Uh, she doesn't know. I thought it best not to uh, bother her with the details. Yeah, because you knew she'd go ballistic. <sighs> Nick, we are where we are. You know, I just can't believe Tracy agreed to it. I mean, I think in her own way, she sees it as a way of showcasing her business. Right. Uh, what's that? Uh, the bill, which I should be picking up. Uh, not necessarily. No, I insist. Uh, I'll see myself now, lads. Any money, she puts poison ivy in Carla's boot kit. Even that couldn't ruin today. <sighs> you ready to belt someone? Uh, just, uh... Wedding stuff. How are you doing? I'm smashing. I'm enjoying a day of leisure, unlike some. Yeah, it's been a touch stressful. Is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it. Oh, try me. I make a terrific plus one. What? But I'm just saying, you know, if you need an extra pair of hands at the wedding. Not that I'm fishing for an invite or anything. I'm sorry, Jenna. I haven't got time for this now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why is the bathroom like a sauna? Oh, the steam helps get the creases out of the dresses. Oh, I love this nail varnish. Très chic. Mm, it's called chic money maker. Oh, dead subtle then. Mm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, thank God. They've got me doing all sorts. Fancy a beer? No, mate, I'm not staying. I just come to clean up and wash my eye out. By the way, next time, get your own booze, eh? Yeah, you've got to cheat you sending my Tyrone out to do your errands. Well, if I sent Kirk, he'd have never come back. Mate, I would have left a dust cloud. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Oh, let's look. Oh, it looks really red. Yeah, it'll be all right. Oh, Ed, you look amazing. Oh, told you. Wait till you see me in my dress. I'd be if you could wear a sack. You'd still be the best dressed woman here. You do know he's basically insulted the rest of us. <laughs> Very amusing. I thought the smiley face was a nice touch. It's all a game to you, isn't it? Kind of. And by my reckoning, I'm 2 nil up. Your text said you got my money. 900 pounds. Well, where is it then? I'm safe. Well, go and get it. Not before you call a truce. A truce? No more playing silly beggars, Tracy. I've got enough on my plate today without having to worry about you. Mm -mm. And I'm having so much fun watching you run around like a headless chicken. Anyway, enough chit chat. Just go and get my money, will you? No truce, no money. All done. Right, my turn. Well, I'll just go and check on Ty. Oh, stop treating him like a baby. It's like he knows what I'm thinking. <laughs> Nobody knows what you're thinking, babes. Now put it down. Right, just know that I'm really sorry. What's the matter? Well, with all the steam and my eye and everything, I thought it was a towel and... What was a towel? Oh, this isn't good. I'm not sure whose it is. It's mine. So you've got everything that you ever wanted. Not everything. Everything would be your daughter, slumped in a shop doorway, drunk, broken, sipping on a cheap bottle of sherry. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Oh, cue the violins. All that jealousy. <laughs> what, you think that I'm 
jealous of Carla. Oh, I know you are. Think about it. Her life to date. Nightmare upbringing. Waste of space, Mum. Psycho brother. One terrible relationship after the other. I think you're forgetting her pathetic excuse for a father. Hmm. I was saving the worst till last. Yet despite me, despite all the obstacles and all her failings, she's still the better woman. Stronger woman. Happier woman. Do you know I wasn't going to spill the beans? But you've just taught me into it. What do you think you're doing? Protecting my daughter. Hi. Welcome everybody to the wedding of Carla and Nicholas. No, I haven't seen her for a couple of hours. You are really going to pay for this. Today is a proud confirmation of the love, the respect, and the trust they have for each other. I need to speak to you. So, who did you vote for and who is heading home? We've those all-important Britain's Got Talent results coming up next. Thank you. 